The sixth hadith regarding the virtues of reciting the Quran and its etiquettes. And Abi Umama to Rabbi Allah Ta'ala An, and the Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Qal Iqra Ul Quran, for in who yet to Yom Al Kiamati Shafi and Li Ashabi, or Wahu Muslim. Abu Umama, Rabbi Allah Ta'ala An, who narrated that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Read the Quran, for verily it will come on the day of standing for judgment as an intercessor for its companions, reported by Muslim. This hadith is evidence for the virtue of reciting the Quran, the greatness of its reward with Allah the Most High, and that it is an intercessor for its companion on the day of standing for judgment to enter paradise. And Nawaz ibn Sam'an narrated that I heard Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam saying, يُؤْتَى بِالْقُرْآنِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ وَأَهْلِهِ الَّذِينَ كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ بِهِ تَقْدُمُهُمْ سُورَةُ الْبَقَرَةِ وَآلِ إِمْرَانِ the Quran will be brought on the day of standing for judgment accompanied by those who used to work according to it, led by Surah Al-Baqarah and Ali Imran. And he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, set forth three examples. I haven't forgotten them yet. He said, كَأَنَّهُمَا غَمَامَتَانِ أَوْ ظُلَّتَانِ سَوْدَاوَانِ بَيْنَهُمَا شَرْقِ أَوْ كَأَنَّهُمَا هِسْقَانِ مِنْ طَيْرٍ صَوَافِ تُحَادْ جَانِ أَنْ صَاحِبِهِمَا as if they are two clouds or two black shadows with a light between them or a flock of birds in rows advocating for their companions. Therefore, it is befitting for the fasting person to be abundant in the reciting of the Quran and the blessed days and noble nights. There is a special distinction for the abundant reading of the Quran in Ramadan that is not found in other months. So let him take advantage of the honor of time during this month in which the Quran was sent down. Reciting the Quran during the nights of Ramadan has advantages, since at night preoccupations come to an end. The high aspirations gather together, and the heart and the tongue cooperate in contemplation. And Allah is the one from whom help is sought. Al-Hafidh ibn Rajab ta'ala said, The prohibition of reading the Quran in less than three days was only regarding constantly doing that. As for the favorable times, like the month of Ramadan, especially the nights in which the night of decree is sought out, or in favored places like Mecca, for whoever enters it from other than its residence, then it is recommended to be plentiful during these times and places in reciting the Quran, taking advantage of the virtue of the time and place. This is the statement of Ahmed, Ishaq, and other than them from the Imams, and the actions of other than these point to that as was previously mentioned it is upon the one reciting to implement the etiquettes of reciting which are befitting to adorn oneself with such as sincere intention for Allah the most high reciting while in a state of purification using siwak because that is from revering the speech of Allah he must also pronounce the Quran whoever suffices with simply looking at it is not reading and he does not achieve the reward of recitation. Likewise, he must contemplate on what he is reciting because this is one of the sought after goals. One of the etiquettes of reciting is for the one reading to prostrate whenever he passes by an ayah requiring prostration in a state of purity, no matter the time. And the reader should not read loudly so as to harm those around him due to what was narrated from Abu Sa'id and Al-Khudri who said that the Prophet وسلم, made i'tikaf in the masjid. He heard them reading aloud, so he removed the screen and said, Ala inna kullukum munajin rabba, fala yu'dhiyanna ba'dukum ba'da, wa la yarfa'u ba'dukum ala ba'dun fil qira'ati, aw qala fil salat. Hey, indeed, each of you is holding a secret council with his Lord, so do not harm one another, and none of you should raise his voice over others when reading. Or he said, in salat. And Allah knows best. Allahumma ijal al-Qur'an al-Azim rabi'a kulubina wa nura sudurina wa jala'a ahzanina wa dhihaba humumina wa dalilana ilayka wa ila jannatin na'im. Allahumma dhakirna minhuma nusina wa alimna minhuma jihilna wa razuqna tilawatahu ala ma tuhibbu wa tarda. واغفر اللهم لنا ولوالدينا ولجميع المسلمين 
O oh Allah, make the great Qur'an the spring of our hearts, the light of our chest, the departure of our sadnesses, and the disappearance of our worries, and our guide to you into the gardens of delight. Remind us of what we have forgotten from it, and teach us what we were ignorant of it. Grant us its recitation according to what you love and are pleased with, and forgive us, O oh Allah, as well as our parents and all of the Muslims.